head over to digikey.com. Now you can use any supplier that has a parametric search engine. Uh, Mauser does, Newark does, Ally does, Arrow does. I'm just going to use Digikey because I know their site works a little bit quicker and I don't want to be reloading a whole bunch while I'm doing this video. And we are just looking for MOSFET, single package. Now we have 45,690 options, which is kind of a lot. So we're, let's uh, narrow these down a little bit. In stock, we'll select normally stocking in case it's something we want to reorder. We want something with a data sheet and a photo. We're looking for an end channel, MOSFET, and some other obvious things as we're looking for through hole packaging. So we can just go ahead and tick that off. Next easy thing is we need something to handle the voltage we're gonna throw at it. Now, if we wanna to go to 25 or 24 volts for everything, 30 is probably gonna be our absolute bare minimum. So go over here to package and case and just anything that says TO220, go ahead and click it. We don't want a lot of these, but again, they'll disappear when we select other options. Every time we click apply, it's gonna change these filters. That's why I'm clicking it so many times here. And then we can head over and look at junction temperature. Go ahead and select the highest ones. We can look at our max power dissipation. This isn't crucial, but just to cut out the cut out the weenie stuff here. So we want to go to our RDS on and just kind of pick the lower stuff. I'm going to keep it anything under five. Now, anything under here should work. So you have two choices. You can sort by RDS on make sure our dissipation current handling capacity or what they should be and then pick the best one or go ahead sort by price pick whatever the cheapest thing that'll work is let me say the cheapies are about a dollar and that's going to be our 30 volt rated stuff if you want a little bit more headroom like i usually do if you're going for 24 volts let's get rid of those 30s here we have a lot of options so we don't have to necessarily look at that that bumps our price up by about 50 cents, that's not the end of the world. Now let's go ahead and look at our RDS on. We've got this guy, which I've never heard of, but it looks fine, and our 3034, which is what I happen to use. So if we go through this and we look at everything on a page, you can just kind of pick the ones that you want to compare. Let's say we want to compare our a couple of our more expensive fancy schmancy ones. Let's just pick a couple of these, that guy, this guy, and then scroll down here to the cheap, cheapity, cheap, cheaps. Grab this guy, this guy, and then just hit compare selected. So now we can look at these options on one page. Once you have the part that you're interested in, go ahead and select that. And what I do is go over to Octopart. Now, if you've never used that before, Octopart is kind of a, um, it's an electronic search engine. So you can put in your part number. It'll show you the distributors that it's available from, and it'll give you prices at particular quantity breaks. It also suggests other components that have similar specifications that you might want to use. They might be cheaper or more available or whatever. Um, you can use this to spot special deals on stuff. For instance, I bought a bunch of 3034s a little while ago for a buck fifty, which is a pretty good deal, so I bought a bunch of them. But we'll just put our part in here and see what comes up. Mauser and Newark, 271. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But you can go ahead and swap back and forth with your part numbers, see what's available. If you see that they only have like 12 available or something like that, and you plan on getting, getting more of these in the future or using it as like a go-to part, Go ahead and pick another part number to see what works best for you. But like I said, everything we saw on the other page will work within a reasonable range. Um, if you're looking to go with one of those crazy super high powered beds and you're planning on plugging it into a board or bypassing the etches on the board uh, with something really heavy duty um, to pump like, you know, 24 volts, 300 watts into a bed, just go ahead and get the best stuff. Like it's only going to cost you an extra buck or buck 50 and you can throw ridiculous amounts of current at some of these and uh, you'll be fine. Around the floor.